Okay, two videos in one night. But anyway, we have seven figures, seven years, two string budget, lesson number nine, analyst upgrade. Banks, institutions hire analysts, and all they do is look at different stocks and give a rating on them. You know, so it's a one is a strong buy, two is a buy, three is a hold, four is a sell, five is a strong sell. So fine and dandy. But basically what we're looking for is when analysts upgrade. So when they go from a three to a two or two to a one, known as an analyst upgrade. Doing this particular type of strategy, you really need to find either VAX or Value Line because they have a um, very simple, there's 1,700 stocks in Value Line, and these are the only stocks that we're that we're looking at. So it's not like a regular analyst who's you know he'll give an upgrade to J.C. Penney, then he'll go to Ross, and then he'll go you know there's no rhyme or reason, or you don't know who the analyst is. So basically, it's really good to find um, a service that is only analyzing so many stocks. So, for example, Value Line. Value Line 1700, what it's known as, but basically they have a rating system 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as you can see here, Group 1, oops, let me go back. Group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, of course, 1 is the highest, 5 is, you know, sell, get, get rid of it. Over the, and I know this is a long time, from April of 1965 to June of 2009, and you see the numbers there, the Group 1 basically had a cumulative return of 26,000% or annual return of 13.5% for all this time. Compared to the Dow Jones, which the Dow Jones had like an 8,006, so extremely low. And it's basically saying if you were holding these 100 stocks, so that's pretty expensive. Now, what we're going to do is basically compound what they're telling us here by doing one little simple strategy. So you go on Value Line, and I wanted to do a hack of Value Line, but it was taking me too long to do it. But you can a library. Just go to your basic to your public library, and not just the one that's up the street. You know, you might have to call a few in the county because, believe it or not, even though they're all county, they all work differently. And ask them if they have a Value Line. They all have value line, but what you want is to be able to get the online version of value line for free. Meaning, you, as long as you have a library card, you can sit at home, type in your library card, and you can go on value line. Now, it, you're not getting the full version of value line, but you're getting enough to do some really good research and doing what we just what we just did, or what we're doing right now. And I kind of wanted to show you that, but I was having trouble getting on the library site that that um, I usually use instead of using my version of value line, showing you all this. Then all of a sudden tell you you got to pay a couple hundred dollars for it. So, what we end up doing here is we basically, every week, Value Line tells you exactly, you know, what stocks get upgraded and what get downgraded. And you can get special reports on it. So, simply, I took this week's upgrade. But to kind of, I didn't take the five, the four, or, or the three. I said I'm going to go um, things that were getting upgraded to a two, and everything was getting graded from a two to a one. Now, the reason we're doing this is let's kind of break down the 1700. And all the stocks, the 1700, only 100 stocks can be a number one. So that means one has to fall from the 100 list uh, for one from a two to be moved up. So that means something is happening relative, you know, from the uh, earnings or anything that's coming up with that they analyze and figure out that it's actually pushed up to that 100 list. So the first group, group one, 100 stocks. Group two, 300 stocks. Group three, which is average return, um, 900 stocks. Then group four, 300 stocks. And group five, 100. So that's basically the list here. And by doing it, I was able to get about nine. So there was 30 stocks that were upgraded. But after going through and trying to find what did they have options available, if they didn't, they're off the list. The next thing now, I looked at the a volume. Now, if they have volume like 84,000 average volume or, or something like that, or 200,000 average volume, they were off the list. And so I got stocks that were had really good volume, and uh, 
is the word argon is it's so basically looked to trade. And the reason I'm rushing to get through this, this one, was because I wanted to get this by the 1st of December so that we can put these stocks on the Excel spreadsheet and show you how as an option, purchase the option, put on Excel, Excel spreadsheet, and then at December 31st, show you what happened. By the way, we're really looking to, and we'll be buying an option that expires January 15th, the third week of uh, January. So they give us that month, month and a half, to let you see exactly how this monthly up rate actually works. And um, so, yeah, so companies, and I have this list here, companies so far, I can you, we've got Provident Oil, we've got uh, Anaconda and Quicks, we've got Enzo International, Energy um, Transfer Partnership, ETP, uh, General Mills, GIS, Nordstrom, Duant Communications, a couple of things I can pick out, Tech Express, could use them, and um, I think it's basically saying that we have a few on there, Frozen Fund, GLAD, GLAD, and we have them on there. So let's look for the, uh, and again I'll be posting the uh, results for this, so if you have any questions, you can just use the comments below, and thank you, and subscribe and share. And this was lesson number nine, Analyst Upgrade.